What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of The Outer Worlds. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's jump in to the next video. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your, uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. That guy got absolutely annihilated. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. So far, so good. This landscape looks pretty cool. Art style is really neat. Crouch and avoid detection. Can I steal from them? I'm just going to avoid them altogether. He's kind of adorable. Ooh. It's fine. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I wasn't I wouldn't say I had low health, but Hey, you come here. Yo. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Sit, I'll pat pat you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. 
Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right, I'm off. First weapon. Hold on a minute. Weapon management. I'm opening up the menus for the first time. Just want to see what we got. So here's me. What the hell are these things? Oh, dear. Okay, well, anyway. Character. Inventory journal. There you go. Stranger in a strange land. That's what we're doing right now. Completed and uncompleted yet. All right. Good. Bosh. What does that mean? Oh, you failed the quest. Okay, gotcha. All right. So let's keep going. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? Tactical time dilation. Hibernation complication. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button shows, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You limit time in this mode. Standing still drains your TD, TTD meter very slowly while moving an attack drain it faster. TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Deuces! Attack! Whoa! Wait! Alright. Sentry Saber. This is weird, because I feel like it's almost like fa Fallout, but it's not. Can't open it? I mean, to a degree. That's their version of VATS, you guys. Do they know? You want somebody? Nice. Any bit of ammo we can get. I won't get myself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard. Found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? He'll make him. He'll make it. I helped him out. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. It's one big ad colony. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. All right, do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Huh. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> wow. We sent it. They're gonna send it, too. This is awesome. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I don't think I wanted the Sentry Saber. Let's go back. Let's see our inventory. 
Yeah, it's the same. Can you like? Do these like degrade over time? They do. Oh, I see. Can you break this down? Yes. You get weapon parts. So let's break this down. That one seems to be a little bit special. Journal. Codex. Do we have any of these? We have no perks. Okay, we'll get we'll work on those. Uh, what about our armor? Can we change our armor at all? Maybe not. See, that wasn't so bad. Hello. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. <laughs> As I just steal right away, that's the first thing I do. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Oh my god, she crazy. You realize I'm on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to Cath be Captain Haw Hawthorne. You can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Leveled up! Yay! All right, skill improvements. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvement. Every time you level up, your skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks, and the skills pass the bonuses but won't give or take away. All right. All right, first level up. So I have po 10 points available to spend. Uh, I've already got a boost there. So I'm thinking handgun. Wait. Why can't I spend it? Sorry. I 
Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Oh, you put it into the fence. Gotcha. Oh, okay, my fault. Um, more in arranged. There you go. 25 overall. Gotcha. Okay. Perks. Oh, wait, did I not? Wait, it didn't equip it. Oh, my bad. Okay, well, let's restart that. 25. Uh, tech. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, we'll leave that for now, actually. There you go. Apply. That was a better choice. Okay, perks. Uh, you've grown healthy in your time outside of stasis. 50 plus base health. I'm doing that for sure. For the first one. You gotta always apply that kind of stuff. For the beginning. Good. Now what? Alright, let's keep it going. Stranger in a strange land. Back out into the wilderness. Say... This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Really? After I patched up your friend? Yeah, fair point. I'll let it go this time. Damn right you will. You're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem. Talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right. Just start attacking them. And we got a bit of a walk to do, ladies and gentlemen. It might not be that far. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, No Man's Sky to a degree. Fallout No Man's Sky feel. Thanks for coming out, bruv. Thanks for making that so easy on me, bub. Oh, hi. Where you going? Where you going? What the hell's going on? Anyway, do we even want to search this body? I don't even know where it is. It's, I've already forgotten. Already stopped caring. Hi. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. My pod crashed in the hills back there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. I never got your name. I'm Danky8000. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Yeah, Captain. Wait, do we want to do that? Screw it. We'll just be honest. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. 
He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. So I gotta be persuasive. If We're gonna find them. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. There's something else. Yeah? Sound must be in pretty bad... Oh, jeez. I guess. Must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Uh, you're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a junior in humor? Gravedigger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. You lose a lot of people to the Marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after, loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Thanks for your time. Alright, let's head inside. So we got our first side mission. I'm not sure I'm gonna tackle side missions. I'll probably do them on their own. Maybe do a couple of side missions in one video, but like maybe main main missions will be uh, you know, their own video kind of thing. I gotta figure that out still. Alright, so. Welcome to Edgewater. I like that guy. He's cool. Let's go have a word with the town leader. Probably talk to a bunch of people. Again, I'm probably this is probably going to be a very s s main story focused let's play. But in the ev the event that we don't need to, what's this? Cannery, terminal access, logs. All right. So these are your loading screens right here, ladies and gentlemen. I feel kind of weird, like, hold on, can I put this away? Yeah, you can put it away. Monkey Argo. Hi. Sorry. Seems we've got a guest. We do. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. 
Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, Reed, I'll do what I can to help you. Or how will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Sure, I can use the company. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Alright, our first companion. That's awesome. All right, so let's take a look what we've got going on. Journal. Hold on. Can we finish this first? You've learned that there are... Hold on. You've learned that there are power regulars in both the Edgewater Cannery and Botanical Lab elsewhere in the region, but neither can be removed unless power is routed away from them. Travel to the region's geothermal plant and route the power away from the... One of the locations. Reed asked you to deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide before you head into the geothermal plant. Because he's cutting off their power. Alright, well, are they both going to lead me to the same spot? Let's see. Let's leave first. Oh, there she is. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Fair enough. Alright, we're outside now. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Where are you? Let's, Let's talk. talk when you're... Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Is this about the deserters? So, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... <coughs> the family's Excuse got me. the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's <coughs> vicar Excuse about me. it. Max, his name is. Suppose it couldn't hurt, we'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Okay. Alright, well anyway, let's go to the map. Let's see what we got. So... Let's go to the journal real quick and equip this. Wait, what? where do they want me to go? 90 meters. Well, this one... Are they? Wait a minute. Are they both equipped? What's going on? No. Optional. Speak, speak to the vicar. Still uncertain. Okay, so let's go to the vicar right now. I think that's this guy. And we'll see what he has to say. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. That is not the front door. I, okay. Where's, you think they'd show you to the front door? I've always felt weird in here. Hi! It's too 
Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the geothermal plant. That seems well within your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt's encampment. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that impossible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, we'll look an eye. We'll keep an eye out for that thing. Alright, next up though, is we gotta leave. Okay, um, where do we have to go? 555 meters. Let me look at the map. Let's see, can I fast travel? No, we're not even close to where it is. So this is it for this region, right? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, let me go on. Let me open up the journal again. If I equip this, it's basically the same place, but... Let's go. I mean, it's on the way there. Look at that lava. That's awesome. Look at this. Oh, my God. I didn't even look up. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. These views are dope. Damn, man. I'm. So, that is so cool. So, yeah. Each, each planet has its own mission, obviously. Or set of missions. And then we go to another one. That's my that's my take on it anyway. Where's Parvati? Is she with me? Yeah, she's coming. AI movement, hopefully it was improved. I don't know what it's talking about. It's saying spacebar two. And you have like a dash. Oh, I see it's to the side. What the? Oh, God. Mines! I'm dead. Incoming. Screw them! It's not worth it. She's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'll just inject. <laughs> Actually, she might be down. No, she's okay. Her health reheals. I'm not worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. One second, sorry. Okay. 
Now my question Move is along, th stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. I'm looking for um resets. Know anything about the plant? A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. See, I didn't want to mention Reed. You're gonna start wandering around my camp. Know that I got my sights on you. All right, I'm not worried. Where can I find her? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Fair enough. Give me both. Trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. The parts of her... Oh, God. Don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Got a question about Zoe? I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Maybe the rot, uh, how do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Maybe the marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Any chance you could point me somewhere specific and say, and just say, and not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. All right. What is it? Damn, that's hostile. Thank you. So I'll quickly go speak to her. Hi. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes. Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off the power that belongs to town. Reed asks you to consider coming back to the town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp is a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. 
You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I'll see what I can... Okay. What do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. All right, level three. Good. What do we got to spend now? Ten points to spend? I think I might... Honestly, uh, what do we think? 18, maybe? Let's boost that. Never know when you're going to need it. I'll just use up the rest. There you go. Perks. No perks. Alright, so really it's a choice. Comes now the power or stranger in a strange land. I mean, they're both the same one. But it depends which one you want. So really, it's up to me what I want to do. And I think I want to divert to them. Reed seems like a bit of a screw to him. Oh, I don't want to steal it. Sorry. Definitely don't want to thieve my way through here. There's armor in here. Yoink. No one saw that. <laughs> Where's my armor? Journal, character. Is there like an armor section? Rep. I'm still pretty much a neutral. Codex. Companion ledger. I, I wonder if I should... Well, I don't really have a melee weapon, but here's what I'll do. I'll put that there as my melee. If I'm feeling a little, little saucy, you know what I'm saying? I have no idea how to switch armor, but let's get out of here now. How do I get over there? I gotta leave the camp. <laughs> Chicken. Slash rooster. That was a rooster. I feel like this is a means of travel. Oh. That's broken. God, I think that is absolutely fantastic, those views, man. So anyway, we're probably actually heading to the, uh, the power plant now. Now we're gonna be given an option, I'm assuming, who we want to divert the power to. I think I want to divert it to them because, yeah, that cannery seems a little cheese. They don't seem to be doing it for the best. Anybody? Oh, geez. Okay. I to poke around in here. I'm assuming you don't go that route. Security. That's not good. Low damage weapons are ineffective. Not 
Okay, I'm starting to see that. Damn it, there's gotta be one to shut this thing down. That was ridiculous. Oh man. Light assault rifle, here you go. We don't have the parts. That'll probably shut it down, hold on. Two. Don't have a whole lot of stuff, but. I'm out already. I Maybe we should just hightail it. Just ignore them. Let's get inside. We don't have the weapons required. There we go. The control room should be off to the right. And it's locked off. I hope so too. The combat drones are kind of weak sauce. All right, I'm gonna save it. All right. Plant status. All right, redirect. Wait. Who did I redirect the power to? Let me see. Routing switch, there you go. Let me just make sure I have the right one set. Hold on. Refuse to return to head to the geothermal plant. Redirect. Adelaide propose that you divert by a technical lab priming edge water power. Plants master control. All right, let's do it. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. We got to divert it to the right location. Just kind of looking around here. Sealed. All right, unlock door. Personnel files. I'm just gonna go through. I never really read these. There you go. Using the passwords. Usually there's one hidden in there. Oh, that one's barred. I, oh, my bad. Process six, sir. Screw them, just ignore them. We don't have the weapons required. Unexpected. It's too heavy. Not real. You're not real. What the hell is Higgins? Where'd he go? I don't know where the Oh, jeez. Hold up. Oh, my God. This is bad. I'm dead. Man, my weapons are sh so weak. I'm not going to make it. I'm getting out of here. Where the hell is Higgins? I can hear Higgins. Where is this guy? Is he down there? Hey. going on man I've been looking everywhere for you go away phantom go away phantom oh man I don't want to there you're not real you're not real get away from me phantom shoot scram calm down oh you can talk 
The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. So don't tell me what's going on. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Worked on these mechanicals, must have no way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. I can deal with the mechanicals. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Sweet. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Thank you. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. Um, have you been surviving? Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I should go. Alright, um... Alright, I'm confused a little bit, but not really. It looks like both connections are next to each other, so... Let's just keep climbing up. It was kind of confusing to find out where this dude was. Incoming! Girl, you... No, I don't want to route them yet. Let's go to that one. Oh, come on, man. Really? All right. I'm almost out of ammo, though. I'm out. All I got is this. Well, actually, that works, like, amazingly. Surprisingly. All right, modify behavior. Uh, define and choose a space choice. There you go. Exit, there you go. Good, now they're gonna like attack each other so they won't attack me. Two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Oh, I should have done that. Well, no, I had to speak to him first. I wonder if there's going to be, like, another choice. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Investigate. Like, look at the damage it causes, man. It's amazing. Am I in combat? Got a flywheel. Seems important. 
Where to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the rail? All right, final routing switch. I'm expecting. Nice. All right, last one. It's the last. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. All right, we got to get back up there. Aha, shortcut. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's just another one of these. Okay. Damn, that was a sprat. That's what that guy was eating. They're worth 30 experience though. I don't even know how to get back. It's gotta be this, right? Yeah, this looks right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna save again before we do anything, because I know we're gonna have to choose. Once we do this, there's no going back. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you: Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing an opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers in power. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The deserters are community. I can't just destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I see your point. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on. Like that I, makes I it just, a tougher call. I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. All right, plant status. Here's my choice. Do I want to redirect it to Edgewater? Or do I re want to redirect it to botan the Botanical Library Laboratory? She's a good person. Edgewater's kind of cock-a-doodle dude. Yeah, I don't want to be... Uh, I'm doing it to the... I'm doing it to the... That's who I was going to choose. There we go. What's done is done, ladies and gentlemen. We've rerouted the power. I'm not worried about you. Oh, is this a quick way in or something? Because you need help with everything. She's not as damaging as you'd imagine. Space's choice reputation decreased. I 
I didn't do anything. Can I not open that? No. Sorry. Well, they just seem like a bunch of douchebags, you know what I mean? So, like, what do you want from me? System. Sweeping the area. I'm just gonna haul it. Because we should be able to, um... Just fast travel back there once we get the, uh... Once we get far enough away. We might not even need to fast travel. Let's see, map. There you go. Okay, so we should be nearby somewhere. Still fairly far. It's on the other side of Edgewater. I think we're gonna speak to him. He's gonna be like, you son of a bitch. Honestly, this place does seem like a dump. And I all the thing is, all the people who are working here will be sent to... Um... You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Teach you a lesson? Teach you a... I don't know. Yeah. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. You're all slaves to Spacer's Choice. I had the right idea. I had to make you see that. Adelaide. Adelaide wants nothing more than to see this town suffer. To see me suffer. All you've done is satisfied her hatred. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Damn. It's going to happen to Edgewater. Sorry about all this. Apologies won't give us our lives back. But for what it's worth, I am sorry too. What's gonna happen? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. All right, bye. Well, I need that, so we're gonna have to start fighting. So I got some skills. I think I should up my melee. I've been using it a lot. Maybe some defense. Yeah, we haven't been doing much to them. Oh, oh, oh wait, cancel. Yep, there we go. Perks. We have a new perk to unlock. Uh, slow the wound, or the world, sorry. Damage when alone in party. Walk speed, sprint speed, weapon, armor durability loss, companion critical chance, additional ammo stock and vendors, carrying capacity, fast travel encumbered, vendor prices, sprint speed. Let's do sprint speed. There you go. Thank you. A lot of experience. And bye. Look out. I'm just gonna get it. Oh wait, let me down. Oh, this is bad. I'm dead. Oh man, they got the beans. Want the bread? Thank you for that. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Can I can I equip that? He really didn't even seem to care. I ain't dying today. 
I just killed Reed. Small gray map. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Okay, what do I need to get to? Oh, man. I got to get out of this place. This place is not happy with me. Should I be able to fast travel? Yeah. Oh, come on. All right, let's run this way. This whole town is going to hate my ass right now. Yeah, I think we're good now. There we go. Finish this mission up. There we go. You're welcome. I got the regular. And now we can get this bish is off this the planet. Your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. The deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? You just say goodbye. I, I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. You're most welcome. I can call you captain now. I got a captain. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get on out of here. Finish this mission up. Feels like it's been forever. This is our still our first mission that we did. Captain, I, what can I do for you, Captain? I have a power do regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. All right, let's go install that real fast. Oh. Wow, that was nice and easy. Last thing to do. Speak to Ada and get us what off this planet. You, Captain? I've installed it. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's get out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danku8000, Instagram, danku8000, and Snapchat, danku8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% of your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code danku8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit Q8000. Wait a minute, hold that style and style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Who the
up and I see them haters Try to run with us and don't need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta Players grab your respirators Night invaders get life savored Mass on for the shooters Move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn kill Yeah Never, ever, again.